Welcome to Inside the Game. I'm Jaden Hart, joined by Rachel Turnock. What an exciting night for high school football. A battle of the top two teams in 1A Division I. The Cristobal El Dorado rivalry. Multiple district games with title hopes and playoff seating on the line. But we start with the Central Bobcats and their matchup against Friendship. The Bobcats have been successful against the Tigers under head coach Brent Davis, never losing a game against them. 4-0 against Friendship, who come in 1-0 in district play, beating Midland High last week. And the Bobcats taking down Abilene High in their district opener as well. Yeah, what a return to the Little Southwest Conference for the Cats. They picked right where they left off, winning their 17th straight district game as a member of the notorious West Texas District. And a streak that dates back to 2015. Could they keep it going tonight? Bobcats looking for their fifth straight against the Tigers. First quarter, Bobcats running back Samuel Navarrete takes it in. What a stud this guy's been the last two weeks. Touchdown Central, they're up 7-zip. And then second quarter, Navarrete punches it in again. Coach Davis brought him up from the JV two weeks ago against Abilene, making an impact 14-0 Bobcats. Tigers offense trying to answer. That's Corbin Gandy to Carson Miller, who makes the juggling catch for a big gain. And that sets up Gandy setting up a pass to Ky Klein Coker, who scores the touchdown. That made it 14-7, and then Friendship trying to even things at the half. Three seconds to go. Andrew Brad Bradlock, I think is his name, comes up empty-handed, and the central defense held Friendship scoreless in the second half, and they get a big win, 35-7. They're 2-0 in district, and let's see how the other teams in the Little Southwest Conference fared tonight. Midland High gets their first win of the season, putting them at 1-1 one one in district, and Permian sweeps by Abilene at Shotwell. That one puts the Bobcats and Panthers tied for first in 2-6A, adding another layer to that November 20th matchup at San Angelo Stadium. <laughs>